Welcome Leo to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com or you could purchase the extended, which could be found in the description box below. Or you can become a member by clicking on the join button on my channel and receive all extended readings for the price of one. You will get extra benefits such as discounted readings exclusive to members only. So without further ado, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's go uh, get right into it. Let's see. Spirit, can you please reveal to me who is coming towards the sign of Leo and love? What does Leo need to know about their love life in regards to a person that is coming towards them in love? Who is this person that Leo is connected to in love? Thank you, Spirit. Well, we have playing games. Playing around, having fun, didn't mean to waste your time. Wow. So let's see what else. So your person likes to play. You know, I see all the aces out here. Okay. Uh, now, I feel like there is like a bunch of new beginnings with this particular one. So this could be a new person um, that is entering into your life. Now, this person may have everything, right? Uh, maybe they offer you a sense of stability. Maybe they came in with their truth. Maybe they offered you a new love offer uh, and they were very passionate. So this is very uh, new energy um, that is coming towards you leo okay now this person could be a player so just be mindful let's see what else is there anything else spirit two more messages in regards to a person that leo is connected with in love now last week i for when i can remember uh didn't your person like uh, there was something about the leo energy from last week anyway Let's focus on today. <laughs> because I think they were shady last week too, right? Spirit, can you please reveal to me two more messages about this person? Please let it be good. Good messages, please, for my Leo. We have youthful. Let's keep our inner child ageless and maintain youthful forever. Now, this came up kind of like almost upside down. So, I, what I'm really feeling is that your person is young at heart, but I feel like they're an older person. They're more mature, okay? And you would think that at this old age that, uh, you know, they would stop playing the games, you know, start playing the mind games, okay? That's what I'm feeling, okay? Let's see. One more message, Spirit. One final message for Leo. Whoever uh, is connecting to the sign of Leo, please, Spirit, what is the collective energy on the person that Leo is dealing with? You know, they could be younger, but, you know, they act immature is another thing I'm also feeling. 
you know, this person is not very stable. Mm. One more message, please, spirit. One final message. Damn, I had to go through the deck like, I don't know, five times to get this true love card. I waited my whole life to find someone like you. Now, Capricorn actually had a very similar energy. Okay, now this person is a true love connection. This could be your twin. Okay, but they came in like they were playing games with you, Leo, and you're tired of the tomfoolery, right? Maybe your person's name is Tom, you know, but I really feel like uh, you guys are a little bit older and um, this person could be younger than you, still acting immature. You know, they need to act more their age. That's what I keep hearing. Let's find out a little bit more. Spirit, what three messages want to come through about this person connecting to Leo? They need to be honest. You know, that, that's another thing I'm also feeling. Your person isn't very honest. So they could come off one way. So I have a feeling that your person isn't very expressive of their true emotions. And Leo, that's all you want. You want transparency, you know? That's what I'm getting. Let's see. Three messages, please, Spirit. Because you're not going to sit here and, you know, being strung along or, or being uh, fooled, okay, over someone's insecurities or, you know freaking gaslighting or whatnot that that's the feeling that i'm getting spirit three messages please spirit about this person connecting to leo the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist one side relationship and love bombing you know i i felt that you know your person was playing games like uh you know it's not them it's you you know like making it out like like you're the the one you know acting as if uh you were in a one side relationship the whole time that's what i'm feeling wow hmm let's see anything else but you know what spirit is saying is that they feel that this is a true love connection like what kind of sense does that make yeah you guys are in separation right now sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of the future and i can see your eyeballs rolling okay leo you're like yeah okay yeah okay if we're in separation you feel like this is a true love connection why don't you show up you know and finally heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving and mourning this person is heartbroken over the separation with you. They were playing games with you and they're really hurt, okay? They're really hurt that they uh, made you look like, you know, you were in a one-side relationship all by yourself, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting. But in all honesty, Leo, this is a true love connection, at least, you know, for your person. At least that's what spirit is showing me. Maybe you don't even know this, you know. Maybe, you know, they're just too afraid to let you know their truth. But let's see. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is uh, the energy of the person that is connecting to Leo and love? What is the clear message that wants to come through for my general collective Leos for the person uh, that I'm connecting with and love? How are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What do they want? What do they want to do about the situation? What is their challenge and what is the outcome? Hmm. 
Well, we have Queen of Wands. Isn't that your energy? Now, you could be dealing with another fire sign. Okay, now this person really sees that you are it okay they admire uh your energy uh they really i feel that your person likes to put you on this pedestal whether or not you know this or not leo okay because right now you guys are in separation i feel like you guys aren't really talking and your person is heartbroken they're, they're really hurt that they're in this separation with you because it's in here two times a lot of time has passed you're not dealing with a, a young person anymore okay this person has aged i don't know how many years it's been okay but you know time has passed and your person is wanting to come forward towards you and make peace okay they know that there has to be some kind of closure your person lacks a uh, closure they want to end uh, a cycle here so they can have a new beginning with you so your person definitely feels that you are their destiny and they definitely want to have a new beginning with you wow now you could be done with an aquarius now your person is coming in uh wishing that um they could really be with you leo they they really admire you you are everything that they hoped wished and dreamed of okay they're really trying to balance out their emotions damn look at this we have the high priestess now this person is really spiritually connected with you in more ways than one okay um they're really uh connecting in with that feminine energy that divine feminine high priestess energy your person could be psychic very intuitive this could be you i really feel like this is a spiritual connection now uh let's see what else yeah, I feel like they they rejected you. Okay, they're sitting there all by their lonesome. And uh, all they can do is just sit in their chair and, and just think. Think about how they missed that opportunity to have a beautiful, loving relationship with you. How they jacked things up, right? And yeah, the, their ego got in the way. You know, they, they protected their ego, uh, you know, by... I don't know, tying somebody up and, and stabbing someone in the chest? Like, what? Now, this, this really reveals to me that your person was actually a broken soul. And they really needed to work on themselves. That's what I'm getting. You know, maybe your person was self-absorbed and kind of narcissistic in some way. But I really feel like it was because hurt people hurt. And your person was hurting themselves. And I feel that they hurt you. Okay? Uh, also, what I'm seeing is that... You know, they, they really couldn't open up and, and show you that they cared, okay? They kept their feelings to themselves. And uh, what I'm saying is that, yeah, they were all in their pride and ego, okay? So this is like a combination of Gemini and Capricorn's reading, you know, with Gemini. Um, you're dealing with someone with, with pride and ego issues, okay? With Capricorn, um, there is a new beginning. <laughs> so your person is wanting a victory, Um they really care about what other people think uh, about them in a public sense. Okay. And they're starting to let go of their ego issues, which is good. And uh, I see that uh, in the past, perhaps your person didn't want to work on this connection because it was one-sided, right? And now they see that they want to grow with you. <laughs> they feel like, you know, they can't get their stuff together. They have a hard time of manifesting. You know, the other thing is that uh, maybe for some, they're actually in another commitment that they need to release and let go. You know, uh, maybe you guys saw uh, things differently in regards to your spiritual opinions. You know, that's what I'm getting. And now they want to reach out and connect with you. I feel like for some, you're going to get contact from this person. Yes, we have here the King of Swords. Now you could be dealing with an air sign. You know, for some, it could be uh, Earth. I, I do see here fire. Now, uh, if you're connecting with an Earth sign, I feel like uh, they want to tell you the truth. That they were feeling stuck. Okay, in regards to a third party. So perhaps your person was caught up in a karmic relationship, but now they want to come in with a new love offer. So let's see. Yeah, 
Now, how they're thinking is that they've been watching you and they feel conflicted. Maybe it's because there's a, a lot of people that's surrounding you or maybe it's because of them. Take it as it resonates, but there's too many people. Now, I already saw on your person's side that um, there is a karmic on, on their their energy okay now uh, as they are dealing with this karmic I see that there is separation they're heartbroken because they are not physically with you okay but I feel like there's very strong telepathic uh, energy um, that your person is really connecting with you in some way so if you feel like you're connecting with someone of the past and I feel like it's a past person um, they're definitely uh, hooked in okay that's what I'm seeing now how are they feeling wow so they want to get out of the separation they want to give you this new offer of love this could happen within a month now i see here it could take about four days okay where your person is trying to get out of this stuck energy um it could be four weeks guys you know it's going to be different for everyone now what is it that your person wants Wow, we have here the tower in reverse with the six of pentacles in reverse. Now, your person knows that there hasn't been any kind of balance between you two. And they realize that they need to let it go. And they they haven't been able to let the situation ship go with you. So, this is what I'm feeling. Your person is wanting to really reflect. So, I think they're doing some review and reflection uh, based on past experiences with you. They do want to offer this new beginning of love. They have been watching you. But they really see that you're too busy. Or maybe, uh, you know, there's a lot of people uh, that is around you or coming toward you, Leo. And um, you're the talk of the town, right? Um, your person is admiring you from a distance now i know right leo you're like well who the heck is this and if it's the past person why don't they grow some balls or or a, a set you know and, and make their appearance right because you want someone that matches your vibration right leo you want someone who is loud and proud and isn't uh too you know too boastful you know to let let you know that you know they they're into you you know, you would want that, you know, uh, where, where is this person? I feel like, you know, they're, um, they're actually in another relationship. I feel like there's another situation that's blocking the connection with you, Leo. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here so far. So if you feel that this narrative is resonating with your, uh, personal situation, I'm going to take this to the extended and in the extended, I'm going to go over what are the actions that they're going to do in this connection towards you, what are their um, challenges, the blockages or obstacles, and what is the outcome and along with uh, love language messages okay so if you're per if, if you feel like this is your person i'm gonna see like oh what are some ways that they're going to express how they love you so you know that you know they're being sincere and also uh, some messages or a message from archangel michael and see what uh, the angels have to say for you at this time and an oracle message Okay, so a guidance oracle message from spirit, a message that you need to know in regards to this uh, connection. So I really hope that uh, you can join me on the extended. The link is in the description box below, or you could uh, join and become a member so that you can receive all the extended readings for the price of one. And if you feel that you want more than just the extended, you definitely can book a personal reading with me you can visit me on my website it's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and uh, book a personal reading so thank you all for watching and i hope to see you on the other side bye bye mm -hmm.